givers never lack. You don't have to have all the world before you can give. Some people think until you are so buoyant and so rich, that is where you can give no. From that little you have gotten, you can bless someone's life. Be a blesser. A giver is always on top. A receiver is always under. The person becomes a beggar. The Lord wants us to bless people's life today. We today, beautiful people of God, I'm blessed coming your way again. I still remain your friend and sister, Sister Isioma Uchi. God is faithful and is worthy to be praised. Happy New Ones to everyone. Welcome to the month of champions and winners. We can only be champions and winners through the help of God on our side. And the Lord says, the battle is his. He is fighting our battles. He is fighting the battles of his people. Hallelujah. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us to hear your word again. Speak through me and circumcise our hearts to accept your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. We'll be seeing a topic today that says giving. Giving. You know, often when we talk about giving, what comes to our mind is we are talking about money. And when you talk about giving, people are scared to talk about it. But that is not correct. Giving is more than giving out money. Giving has to do with sending out something. It has to do with impacting. It has to be delivering to someone. That is giving. You impacting into people's life or you sending out something into somebody's life. It can be individually. It can be collectively. And you are doing it with a joyful heart, with a merry heart. That is giving. It is not just giving money, no. It is not just giving financially, no. It is more than that. And that is why so many of us have missed it these days. Because we don't want to give out. But let's see what the Bible tells us in the book of Luke chapter 6 verses 38. And Jesus said, Give and it shall be given unto you. Meaning, if you do not give, no one will give back to you. It means that giving is a two-sided effect. It's a two-sided game. You giving and you receiving. He said, and it shall be given unto you good measures, pressing down and shaking together and running over. Shall men give unto you your bosom? For with the same measure that ye met, whether it shall be measured to you again. The Lord did not tell us that giving must be giving money or giving financially. Giving can come in different ways. You can give out your talents in the society, in the body of Christ. You can give out informations. The information you give to someone can save the person's life. You can give out clothes. So giving is not only monetary aspect, no. You can give out your time. Do you know that so many people have invested their time? Even in our families, we invest our time. You remember the good Samaritan in the Bible? The Bible said he saw that man that was beaten and he helped the man. He did not give money at that time. He gave us his time. Remember the woman that the prophet Elijah met? What did he give to the prophet? Was it not just food? He did not give him money. So I pray the Lord will help us today. Let's begin to change our mentality. Giving is not only giving money. You can give out your smiles. Do you know just smiling to someone give people life? You just smile to the person and say, God loves you. You've restored life. Giving is not only money. And let's see what the, problem, the importance of giving. One of the importance of giving is that giving brings what? Happiness. When you give to people. When you give to them, you get happiness in return. How does this work? If you see a beggar or somebody in need and you bless the person, you feel so happy. 
and the person begins to tell you God bless you and you are happy so happiness does not come with money money is just a temporary satisfaction why do you think the rich still cries even with the money they've gotten so you see money does not give happiness happiness comes from you impacting into people's life and making them smile and making them happy you also are happy giving brings what peace when you bless people's life with informations or you give them different things you think they need it gives you peace and giving is not all about giving what you don't even want to use again so many people when they are tired of using some clothes that are tall they give it to people at no that's dustbin spanish people say it's basura you want to give somebody trash there is no blessing for that you give what you think someone else would have been giving to you that's giving giving what brings promotion when you give out some things doors begin to open there are people you bless and they pray for you before you know there's open doors and that is why you see some people we say they are not believers they are blessed because they know how to give givers never lack you don't have to have all the world before you can give some people think until you are so buoyant and so rich that's where you can give no from that little you have gotten you can bless somebody's life be a blesser a giver is always on top a receiver is always under the person becomes a beggar the Lord wants us to bless people's life today. Not just true, only with money. You can bless people's life with smiles, with gifts, with informations, making them to be happy. You have blessed life and the Lord bless you. I pray the Lord will help us today. Jesus gave out his life and he caught it in return. So we should learn to give. Jesus did not give us money on the cross. He gave us salvation. He gave us love give us joy and that's why we can tell people today that God loves them so you cannot say you love someone when you've not given out try it and I tell you your life will be transformed and be renewed in Jesus name amen maybe you've been watching for so long and today you want to say Jesus I want to love you more than I've ever loved you you want to make him your close friends you want to make him the lover of your life the hour come. Can we please take this word of prayer together? Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to die for my sins. I love you, oh God, and I ask you to come into my heart today. I say bye-bye to the works of the enemies. Write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, and give me the grace to finish until you come again to take your people home. For in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Congratulations for taking that word of prayer. I tell you, the Lord loves you. You have taken this bold step of faith. Keep on, never give up. Look for a church attained, study God's word. In Jesus' name, amen. And finally, for all those that have subscribed, a big thank you to you all. And for those that have yet to subscribe, God bless you too. Please subscribe and press the notification button so you always get our videos. Thank you and stay blessed. Bye, Amy.